Let me tell you guys why I believe DJ Moore is the perfect wide receiver for Justin Fields. And no, it's not hyperbole. I will prove it to you guys. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Follow Sports All back at it with another video talk. And of course, Matt NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. And I've been covering the team like a blanket the entire offseason and will continue to do so all offseason in the free agency, the draft. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, folks. You are not going to want to miss it. We we're all over the trade for the number one overall pick. I gave my reaction. Go check that out. And one of the pieces from that number one overall pick trade that the Bears got was wide receiver DJ Moore, which was a fantastic call, by the way. Okay. And let me just tell you guys the importance of getting DJ Moore. I said on my live stream after the trade happened that I would rather have DJ Moore than a first round pick. And it ended up being the case that the Panthers, per Jeff Hughes of the Bears blog, he said that the Panthers were actually willing to give up an additional first round pick instead of DJ Moore. And Ryan Poles said, no, I want DJ Moore. And he stood pat. And what happened? The Panthers ended up blinking and giving up DJ Moore because Ryan Poles did not blink. And he stood pat. Because he knows how important DJ Moore was in this deal. We're not just talking about a wide receiver one. We are talking about a legitimate wide receiver one who also fits the timeline of your young quarterback. DJ Moore has, is only 25 years old, even though it seems like he's been in the NFL for a while now. Five seasons, 25 years old. By the way, out of those five, three 1,000-yard seasons. Oh, and by the way, very subpar quarterback play throughout his career. Justin Fields is by far the best quarterback he's ever played with or will be. Point blank period. So why is DJ Moore the perfect receiver for Justin Fields? And why did uh, Ryan Poles hit this out of the park? And why was he so adamant in getting DJ Moore? Well, that's because he knows that DJ Moore is that fit. First and foremost, DJ Moore, again, the age thing we mentioned that he's six feet, 210. So he's a receiver that kind of is, uh, you know, the perfect size, if you will. You know, maybe you could say he could be a little bit taller, but and Justin Jefferson is, isn't exactly a giant, and he's obviously the best receiver or arguably the best receiver in football. So size-wise, D.J. Moore is good. He can do everything, and he's great getting open. Against man coverage, one of the top receivers last year, top five, excuse me, top 10 in air yards per target for D.J. Moore. And what does Justin Fields do? He chucks it deep. He was top five in deep ball rate. So uh, Poles knew that Fields is a guy like likes to throw deep and Moore is a guy that gets open deep and get open deep. And that's why it's the perfect fit. But also why it's a perfect fit is because if you go through the NFL and take a look at the realistic wide receiver ones that the Chicago Bears could have got legitimately gotten, we're talking realistically. We're not just saying, hey, let me just pluck Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase out of thin air and put him on the Bears. Realistically, who could you have gotten for your young quarterback if you were to trade for a player? Because we know as much as we love the draft, nothing's a guarantee, right? We know that. And we take a look at the NFL. I will literally go through every single team for you guys real quickly here and prove to you guys why DJ Moore was the perfect uh, fit for Justin Fields. We take a look at the AFC East. Buffalo, Stephon Diggs, best receiver. They're not giving him up. Miami, Hill and Waddle, they're not giving him up. New England, Jacoby Myers, I'll take DJ Moore. New York Jets, Garrett Wilson, like him. He's got bright future. I'll take DJ Moore, and he's, they're not giving him up. Our AFC North, Bengals, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, they're not giving him up. Even T. Higgins, I don't think they're going to give him up. They're just, he's just too important to that team with regards to Joe Burrow having the weapons. Baltimore Ravens don't really have many receivers. Their best one, Rashad Bateman, enough said. With the Pittsburgh Steelers, George Pickens, young, bright future. But, again, I'll take DJ Moore. Cleveland Browns. Amari Cooper, I'll take DJ Moore. AFC South, Jacksonville Jaguars, Christian Kirk, I'll take DJ Moore. Tennessee Titans, really don't have a receiver. Trail on Burks, the best one. I'll take DJ Moore. Indianapolis Colts, Michael Pittman, nice piece. I think I'll take more. Houston Texans, uh, this is not a discussion. Brandon Cooks, old and washed up. I'll take more. Chiefs really don't have a good receiver. Juju's probably their best guy. I will take DJ Moore. Chargers. In the, uh, in the AFC uh, West, excuse me, uh, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Keenan's a little bit over the hill, and Mike Williams, while I like him, I will take DJ Moore. 
Uh, Devontae Adams, uh, Raiders are not going to give him up. Um, and so that's really why we can't talk about that. Denver Broncos, Cortland Sun, Jerry Judy. I will take DJ Moore over both of those guys. All right, let's go over to the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC East. A.J. Brown, they're not giving him up. Dallas not giving up C.D. Lamb. Giants don't really have any receivers. Washington football team, they got, excuse me, Washington uh, Commanders. They got Terry McLaurin. You can make the argument maybe, but I'll take D.J. Moore. Vikings not giving up Justin Jefferson uh, in the NFC North. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, like him. Make me, you can make an argument there, but I'll take D.J. Moore for the Lions. Uh, Green Bay Packers, you got Christian Watson. I'll take D.J. Moore. Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC South. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. I will take DJ Moore. Mike Evans, a little older. Chris Godwin, uh, you know, more of a one-trick pony, if you will. I think DJ Moore is more versatile. Saints, Chris Olave. They're not giving him up. Falcons, Drake London. Not giving him up. Uh, San Francisco 49ers, Debo Samuel. They're not giving him up. DK Metcalf for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. They're not giving him up. Rams, Cooper Cup. Not giving him up. Cardinals, DeAndre Hopkins. He's over. He's better probably than DJ Moore, but he doesn't fit the timeline. He's older. I'll take DJ Moore. Hollywood Brown. I'll take DJ Moore. So literally, I went through every single team, and realistically speaking, from the uh, receivers that could have been potentially available, DJ Moore is the best guy. He is the best guy. I'm telling you, this is going to help Justin Fields' passing game get unlocked. He is going to break out from a passing game perspective because we already know he broke out from a run game perspective. Danier broke Lamar Jackson's record. But from a passing perspective, folks, this is literally what Josh Allen got with Diggs. This is what Tua got with Tyreek Hill. This is what A.J. Brown brought to Jalen Hurts. This is the guy that is going to unlock Justin Fields. You can bet your money on it. I cannot wait to see. All right, DJ Moore, picture perfect fit for Justin Fields. Brian pulls hit out of the park. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.